All right, guys and gals, we're out here with another video. This is the Raleigh Defense AK-47 with the Magpul. Um, comes from the factory with a Magpul buttstock and um, pistol grip here. I call it pistol grip, but um, this rifle did have the. Uh, this year I used it deer hunting and I used the uh, the Strike Eagle scope on it. Well, I've opted to put a red dot on it. Now, I will tell you firsthand, I am terrible with a red dot, but I need to get better at it. Um, so I put the scope on my other AK and this this gun here, I want to make my, like my doomsday rifle, need it whenever, you know, it'll be the rifle that you go to whenever you know shit hits the fan i have a surefire light on it forward grip there uh, with a pressure switch um i'm going to attempt to sight in this red dot uh, i've i've i personally never had luck with a red dot maybe it's just me um i don't particularly care for them but i know that i need to get one and get used to using one and uh get you know become proficient with one but i particularly don't like them but we're going to try to sight this rifle in with a red dot i need to get good at it um this uh rail here is another one off of wish i believe this one here took three uh it also took three weeks to get here um you know, a lot of my rails that I order is off of Wish. They're pretty cheap, but they work well. So we're gonna take a shot. We're right here at the 50 yard mark. It's around 50 yard. I say 50 yard, but I mean, if you if you were to go hunting, you know, I wouldn't shoot anything further than this distance around where I live. I mean, it's just, Everything's, you know, really heavily wooded and everything. So, we're going to take a shot. And uh, I'm going to pull a round out of this mag so that I can adjust the... Uh, I can adjust the optic with the back of the round. They're tight, man. These, mag, these uh, Tapco mags are so tight. My other AK does not like these tap goes it will not if it's a if it's a full mag it will not shoot them i deer hunted with this rifle last year like i said um it carries well it's real compact um you know it's their magpul version it's a rally defense but um we should be able to adjust you know we should get our clicks in with that but we'll cut it on we'll make a shot we'll see where we are um Hopefully I can have good success with this thing. If I can get, you know, a good group with this. I know this rifle will shoot really well with a scope um, and with iron sights. This one here, uh, my last AK, the leaf was, was messed up in it, but this one here is perfect. With iron sights, this rifle is deadly. I ordered a, um, a sight in tool and I actually sighted this rifle in, had to drift it over a good bit but man, this rifle here is probably one of the best shooting guns that I own. And I have a $2,000 um, Yankee Hill machine uh, AR-15. And this gun right here at or up to 100 yards will outshoot that rifle. Um, I mean, it shoots really good. But let's see what it'll do with a red dot. Like I said, I'm not a fan of red dots, but you know, it's, it's something that I need to get good at because you know, you can't always have a scope. A red dot is a good, what I call like a reaction dot. So, you know, you can get on target fast, you know, and uh, do what you need to do. So we're gonna try to sight this thing in and uh, let's see what it'll do. We'll take a shot. Like I said, this thing is not sighted in at all. I just put it on here about two hours ago. So 
the rail does seem like it is sitting up a little bit high for it so that might make i don't know if it'll make a difference but we'll see what it'll do we'll take a shot out of it right quick and see what's going on And uh, we'll be using Tepco mags out of this one. This is a full mag, 30 rounds. This gun here doesn't have a problem with them. It loves them. Make sure we picked up a round, and we did not. There we go. It's at that time. And picked up a round. We'll go out there and see if we got an impact on it. I don't think we do. I'm gonna have to move it up a little bit to get it dialed in, but that's normal. So we got one impact, high to the left. So I'm gonna bring the target up closer and uh, see what we can do here. Cause I wanna get this thing dialed in. I wanna get good with a red dot. So uh, let's move this thing up. All right, so right now we're at 25 yards. We'll see where we're at and then we'll make some adjustments you know a lot will be human error um you know um uh, hopefully i can get proficient with a red dot so we'll see where we're at right here at 25 yard and of course the phone would fall over We'll turn down the uh, brightness, try to clean that dot up a little bit. We're not even on target at 25 yard. I'm going to do some hold-offs to try to see where I'm at, roughly. Maybe use the iron sights. Target fell over. I'm about to bring it on up because it's it's way off. Um, I can barely get anything to print, so I'm gonna have to bring the target on up some to get this thing dialed in. I think it's shooting really high, but we want to give it a you know give it a chance. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're at 10 yards right now. I want to get it on paper, then we'll walk back. So let's see what we got. I'll, uh, I'll put the phone if I can get that angle right on the target. Ten yards.
So we're shooting low left. So I'll bring it up some. And move it to the right. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can put something in the middle. And of course the phone will fall. Seems like every shot I take, my phone falls. But we're putting bullets on top of bullets right now. I'm gonna bring it back down just a little bit. Let's see what we can get. I think we're grouping right in the middle right now. Let's go check that out. Put the safety on. We'll move it back. Oh, that's nice. Those are our shots at 10 yards. So let's go back to 50 and uh, improve on this. Next shots will be 50 yard. Um, let me move it back. All right. Well, I just walked it off right here and it's 35 yards. I thought it was 50, but that's still not bad for an AK. We'll see what we got right here and uh, see if we can put some in the center. Let's walk down here and see where it's at. Hopefully we're on target. We might not be though. Hmm. Yeah, we're not on target. We're high. Very high. We got one skimmed right there. One right here. Let me bring this thing back down. See where we're at. Like I said before, I am no red dot expert. My vision's not the best. And uh, we're gonna make a couple adjustments. Move it back down. Let's see here. Let's try four clicks. See if we can get on paper. Let's go look at that. 
I hate using a red dot because you can't, you know, there's no magnification, so you can't shoot, you know, you can't see where you're shooting at. But if I can get it set it in, I believe it'll be a good, good optic. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I'm not good at it. So we're still high. There's a group. So I need to bring it on down. I think I know about where I need to be. I might have to co-witness the front sight. The rain's pouring right now, so. Let's see what we gotta do. Cause I really wanna get this thing close. I didn't even count the clicks. I just, uh, I should have. Empty mag. All right, we got some toward the center. Hmm, it definitely moved down some. I'll take a couple more shots and see where it's at. We'll cover these up. Then I'll make a final adjustment. But if I can get it close, then you could definitely hunt with that. I mean, I might wind up having to put a scope on this thing, but I'd really like to get a red dot dialed in. Right. We're going to make uh, three more shots at the current adjustment. Try to get a baseline here. This rain is coming down hard. Yeah, I like that group. I mean, it's not as tight as the scope would be. A lot of that's human air. But uh, that would kill anything. I mean, any range that you're gonna hunt at. Let's try to hit that, uh, that steel plate down there. You can see it way off in the distance. Let's we'll see if we can ring it one. If I can ring it with a red dot, I'll be satisfied. I'm thinking I'll have to hold up just a little bit, but uh, that's probably the fastest I've ever shot it in a red dot, which is, to me, and that's pretty good. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can hear some stale ring. I might try it offhand. I don't think so. Probably gonna take a, take a seat down here. 
Let's see if we can hit that steel. Was a hit. Hit. Nope, that's that's a uh, 12 by 12 plate at 200 yards, and uh, I'm hitting it with a red dot. Let's see if we can get a video of, of the target. I doubt it. Dead hit. 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 I don't think you can see the uh, the steel plate, but this thing's pretty accurate. Heck yeah, I'm impressed with it. That's the uh, Bushnell AK Optic. Whenever the rain stops, I can get a good sight in on it, but all in all, I'm impressed. It didn't take long to get on target and sight it in, so, you know. If you can hit 200 yard, steel plate you know a 12 by 12 plate you can kill a deer with that but uh if you like these videos make sure to like and subscribe thank you